Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved no-shot legendary Iron Man campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but uh, melee attacks and psionics maybe a little bit later. It is time for Operation Star Walker. Okay, it just turned up the volume because I think it was a little bit too silent. So it's Operation uh, uh, Star Walker. And we're in a tough spot because most of our team still suffers from the grab and smash mission that we had lately. By the way, it didn't yield too many alloys or Illyrium, uh, but we were just barely scraping by. So let's take a good look at whom we can take with us. We got Quick Feet, we got Hogbite, we got Sonar, and then it looks pretty dire straight. Boy, oh boy. This is not a good team. I mean, there's no d downside to take Corporal Patterson or Toxic here with us on a mission. They are essentially running Mimic Beacons at, at this point. But it's still disheartening to see. Okay, so let's start with Maestro himself, uh, the man, the legend, Hogbite. Uh, takes a mind shield that's fantastic quick feet on the other hand uh, we can give him a pcs for some more hit points great wonderful experimental blade yes mind shield yes and let's also give him a med kit just for good measure we're having a med kit and uh, the um, battle scanners here on sonar that works out well and now let's give Toxic a Mimic Beacon and let's give Toxic a Skull Jack because why not? And here, yeah, that's about it. Having another like mobile healer, so to speak. And we can use our Reaper basically to scout out um i wouldn't see how she can do much else at this point can't take any shots with her but we can still use her stealth to our advantage to only trigger one pot let's go guys let's go good guess who landed you damn right it's us and we have the typical l shape uh, corridor here and gotta get to here which is fine um if push comes to shove we can we can use shadow here to essentially move all the way to the target by herself and just finish the mission they have a patrol moving here it would potentially mean for her that there's a pretty solid chance she's going to die if if we're just letting her like rush in on the other hand with her um with her finishing the mission or trading her and maybe getting a reaper a little bit later a higher leveled reaper uh, for this mission is something that i'm willing to do We've already lost quite a few good soldiers on this run. Let's do this. Not saying we need to lose even more, but what I'm saying is that already shows you uh, that they are expendable in a in a run where um, where we can only use like melee attacks. <clears throat> this pack here can definitely be triggered by Hogbite. Could even kill it. I am to obey an alien scouting party. All right, all right, all right. That is indeed a lot of enemies. Let's scout out and see what else we're dealing with. So two here, three here, three here. That's three packs. There's a additional pack of enemies somewhere here.
we know that uh, that if we're attacking, we're going to be spotted out, but we should only be spotted out really by one pack. So these guys should not spot us out immediately. And I want to make sure we're using we're using our blade storm to the best of our abilities. So let's charge in. There we go. Good job. And there's the first hit for, uh, of Blade Storm. And there's the second hit. We're going to parry. At the same time, Divert here, we'll need to get a bit closer to the action, but I don't want him to get too close, right? How about we're moving to here? Ah, it's still in range. Okay, we're moving to here, which is not in range. Mobile healing support. Um, toxic could move a bit closer. Over here is out of range of the pack back there. Got a school jig just in case. Got our mimic beacon. Let's hunker down. And sonar is going to be... is going to be the one who is taking a good overwatch here, so I, I really would like him to take a look across the entirety of the room here. So we already know about all of these guys. Is there any more pack that we should know about? No, it's just one. We know about this pack. Okay. We're slowly but surely trying to chip down the faceless one. They come for me. Next up would be a pretty sizable pack, so Hawkbite needs to be careful. There's the key focus for the kill. Unfortunately, no additional focus ha uh, no additional focus has been dropped. Done. Quick feed moves up. Toxic Move moves it. up. Copy Sonar that. moves up. And our mobile Done. healer moves Moving. up. Lily Patterson. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we can easily charge in there next turn, so no need to reveal ourselves. I'll stay here. Good. So it's, is it a pack of two, or are we talking about more? I will reposition. Moving up. It is indeed a pack of two. I believe this is our objective. And let's... Hit both of them. There we go. Nice little damage. We stunned the Berserk, which is perfect. 
he's just falling over a little bit the uh, theatrical. All right, continuing to move up with our team. No, we certainly don't want to do Comet Protocol. We are parrying. Go, go, go. And we're just going to charge to the front line. These guys might spot us out now. Wouldn't be surprised if they did. Yeah, shocker, right? Okay, well, the big guy does not move, which is fine. If we were to charge in, would that be a clever idea? We could use our Mimic Beacon to solve uh, this one turn. And yeah, why not? Okay, so the way that we would want to do, uh, want to go about that is, since we only can hit this guy here, let's soften him up for Hogbite. Stun isn't too bad, to be honest. So if we stun this guy... This here would be a kill, but the question is, is it needed to kill him? Because he's already stunned, right? I would like to get focus, though. So let's do this. The arc wave gives us some extra damage and we're full of focus which is exactly what we wanted so it was good Roger that. moving a tiny bit forward the make beacon into the middle where all of them can see it I want to move Sonar closer so that we can use him for the hack. Yeah, the, she's just our mobile um, healer, so... No point in moving her anywhere close to the front line. We're going to wait uh, the backup. Uh, is really using the Reaper. Waiting patiently. And now the trick is we're going to position ourselves here, so that's one bonus attack against um, against the faceless one. All right, so much for the mimic beacons. Not sure why the Mimic Beacon was completely ignored. Go 
Ooh, wow, okay. All right, quick feet. Get back in there. Heals up. This here could be a nice hit. That's another good one. Probably the best one would be getting quick feet a tiny bit away to here. And then using Hawkbite really to tank, which would be something along the lines of hitting and then using parry. That way uh, the Bladestorm will kill the faceless one and we can tank the one attack of the Berserk. This guy here is a problem. Can't Skulljack him, but he could very well move towards us. Yeah, he could probably even reach Divat. Uh. Let's use the half cover to our advantage. This here is one of the spots where they can attack, but they will get the negative from half cover on their melee attack, and we're going to hunker down. Moving up and a solid hunker down. Yeah, we're just blocking the entrance here. There's the blade storm. What? We had uh, we had dodge. The fuck is going on? You must be kidding me! Taking fire over here! Menace one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. All right, moving over here in the hopes of being able to hack. That hope is rudely interrupted. Which means um, our plan B will start to take shape. Ah, too bad. We could have gotten a few more alloys. Charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Alright, so let's first of all move to here. So that I can actually see what we're doing. So this here could be a decent start. Hitting and also hitting... Hitting the Stun Lancer. Okay, perfect. That is going to work out hopefully just as I wanted to. There we go. This guy is now stunned. We're moving away. We're parrying. And let's move to here. Because 
that means the uh, Berserk would need to go through us. Also, we're healing Hawkbite so that he never really drops too far. We got to keep in mind he definitely needs um, to be the in almost every single mission. Three hit points out of like 15. It's not the end of the world. More, however, would be unfortunate. Not sure why he did not carry the last time. Okay, moving away again so that I can see how the arc wave is going to affect all of the, uh, those guys. Oh no, oh no, oh wow. I just literally hit my own soldier. Oh no, arc wave does not do that. Interesting, I, I never forced myself into a situation where arc wave could have um, hit my own soldier. That's good to know. All right, got a promotion on top of it. That's fantastic. Well, overall, I mean, not the not the cleanest mission, but uh, that is really a consequence of continuously being in melee and being forced to like do melee exercises. It it uh, turns out that if you're uh, fighting someone uh, close up, you might get punched back. Very good. So quick feed, 14 days, hog by 12 days. This is madness. No, this is Sparta. Like that is yet another week of just scanning. Oh boy. Hello, Commander. We got ourselves at least 160 supplies and. We countered a dark event, so it's not the end of the world. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Boy, oh boy. Well, first things first. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Let's build another mimic beacon. That's going to help us, hopefully. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure it's chip. Good. Adventure power would be fantastic. Not fully needed at the moment, though. And we got ourselves a decent mission where we just got some additional intel. So we certainly have enough intel to expand. That's not the problem. Reduce contact costs as additional intel. Guerrilla Ops, I would really love to have that. Um, and I would also like to build the radio relays. But the biggest problem is the only thing that we can do at this point is heal faster, heal faster, heal faster because the missions are coming uh, one after the other and there's only so much we can do. Finally, we arrive upon the asylum of those depraved enough to defy the elders. Your friends would be... Aliens find a mole within the resistance ring. Um, the retaliation counter is reduced by two weeks. Ah. Are spreading terror throughout the resistance. Well, that's going to be yet another mission, right? We at least got most of our soldiers back, but we gotta wait for Hogbite as well. He's a, he's an essential part. Question is, do I feel adventurous and build the radio relay to continue what we're doing? Or do we want to scan for Hogbite? I think we're going for Hogbite. Wonderful. Good. So with that uh, power relay that just came up, we got more than enough power. We can free up a engineer over here. Starting the excavation. Okay, good. Now, next up, we already talked about uh, we will go for um, the infirmary just to speed up that process. The 
Reapers have no interest is almost back in business. Not under my watch anyway. The aliens took everything from humanity. Yeah. We just got to excavate fast. That's the only thing that we can do at this point. Excavate fast, get the buildings in place. What else could we do? Can't use that, can't use that, can't use that. Get another school check. Maybe not the worst idea. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. That'll give us more hacking stat and it'll give us yet another option for school mining. And that is fantastic. That is just awesome. So we wanted infirmary. That requires some more supplies, but we can eventually get those. Let's first of all start with more excavation here. We're going to get the supplies and then we're building it. Avenger plotting new course. We're also short on Alarium and we're high on Intel. Market is open. Can we buy uh, Alarium? No, we can't. Superior conditioning wouldn't be bad. That's quite a few hit points. 40 Intel. I don't know. I mean, 40, 40 Intel for the superior conditioning is really not uh, that bad. That will increase the survivability quite a bit. We can sell the Bursa Corps, both of them, that's not a problem. A couple of Stun Lancer Corpses. And yeah, let's get rid of these small items. If they're interested in a superior auto loader, I'll leave it, because that will bump it up to 66, which is fantastic. And yeah, let's confirm it. 210 is plenty, meaning we can free up the engineer here, and we're going to build an infirmary. Reducing its time to 17 days, so next month we're going to have that infirmary. Uh, we can also see that with the clearing up here, and just when the infirmary is ready, the resistance ring down here can uh, become ready. And we then also need to start clear, uh, clearing out this, but that really is not... Um, there is no time pressure behind it. Um, I would much rather like to get the remainder here and uh, get the resistance ring and maybe resistance contacts next. That way we would be finally set up to um, expand and strike back. At the moment we're kind of turtling in, uh, but that is okay. I'm just trying to survive with the, uh, with the manpower that we have available. Can only further our advances. Good. Shadow Chamber is theoretically ready to be built. And since I am not seeing how, other than with the weapons, we are able to get to the highest um, armor, we're essentially using the option to be inspired and just go through the weapon research. None of uh, the none of the autopsies would be really, really helpful. We got uh, the Berserker Queen here. Now that's going to be a hard fight as well. In that alien facility. Word of your and fantastic. We got Stasis as the first, uh, as the first um, ability. Edgar Allan Poe. Um, you know what? Let's go with uh, Soul Fire because single target damage is definitely something that we're missing. Uh, normally, Void Rift would be a clear winner there, but yeah, he is operational. I like it. 
And as per the usual, let's welcome our Psy operatives with their um, historical blue colors. I also would like him to look a little bit more actually threatening. Yeah, standard look uh, in some cases is just much better than the than the a new age look. And let's give them superior conditioning, shall we? What else could they use? Superior speed, potentially, but yeah, superior conditioning is fine. They're going to be very valuable soldiers. Might as well give them the best upgrades. I already got the feeling that we will need to use them on some of the missions just to get by. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. All right. So how is our healing process with Hogbite looking? Lightly wounded. He's almost back. Fantastic. Come on, Eric. Okay, dark VIP mission for quite a bit of supplies and intel. That is exactly what we would want to do. And luckily we have uh, healed up Hogbite. He's almost back, so it's not a problem to just like start and stop, start and stop and get him back. He's effectively healed at this point. Um, and we're, we can take him onto Operation Frost Knife. That is super helpful. Um, if we do the mission well, we can even continue building the uh, radio relay and probably build the other radio relay over here. That way we do have Pursuit of Knowledge, 20% research boost. So it's a free um, laboratory for us. And then we can start expanding to Western Europe and eventually reach also Eastern Europe. Yeah, we got a we got one more um, open facility, which is currently here in East Asia. Contact with the local resistance. We've got the details we need to move on the aliens facility. This is our yeah, that is kind of our get out of jail card at this point. But it wouldn't be wrong just with the Avatar project to to move further into Europe and eventually get a couple other options to um, to reduce the Avatar project. Okay, good. That uh, brings us to the end of today's uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. If that is the case, leave a like and a comment down below and see you in exactly two days. Bye bye.